Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an argyle pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create our document. So we'll click on Create New. I'm going to use the dimensions of 400 pixels by 400 pixels. Resolution 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is going to be RGB color. And then I'm going to set my background contents to transparent. Click Create. Zooming in on my canvas here, Command Plus. First off, I'm going to start by creating a square. So with the custom or with the shapes tools here, I'm going to select rectangle tool. And then I'm just going to uh, shift and just draw out my square here. Okay. And then changing my fill to black stroke to none. Uh, changing to the move tool, V on the shortcut, I'm just going to uh, start rotating it here. I'm going to change it to uh, 45 degrees and then click on OK. And then just centering it here, um, dragging on the transforms here, clicking shift. Just going to drag it out until I get to a 400 um, by 400 pixels. Selecting OK there, we are going to center it. Um, clicking M for the marquee tool, I'm going to go Command A, select V for the move tool, which allows us to use these controls here. So center it uh, vertically, center it horizontally there, and then I deselecting it, Command D. So now we have it centered in our document. We have the basis of our diamond shape here. I'm going to um, create a new layer here. I'm going to turn this uh, rectangle one off, and then we are going to create our diagonal lines. So I'm uh, moving to the shapes here. I'm going to select the line tool. Starting in uh, the bottom corner here, I'm going to uh, click shift and then start dragging it. And basically shift will um, cause it to be a uh, at the 45 degree angle there. And then I'm going to uh, make sure fill is set to none, stroke is black, and then I'm going to change uh, the width of my stroke to be uh, 10 pixels here. And then uh, just clicking on that line, marquee tool, command A, V, and then just making sure it's centered um, on the document there. And then I'm going to uh, deselect command D. Okay, so we have our first line here. And then uh, to cross it, I'm going to uh, duplicate that layer. Click on, on OK. We are going to go to Edit, uh, Transform Path, and then we are just going to go Flip Vertical. And then it will um, rotate it that way there as well. And then I just like to always make sure that it's aligned. So I'm going to do my Marquee Tool, Command A, V and then just make sure we are centered there as well. So we're going to go Command D to deselect. So we have, um, let's go ahead and group those two layers, highlighting both, uh, right click group from layers, clicking on OK. And so um, let's turn that one off first. Let's bring out our uh, diamond. We're going to make this as a uh, pattern. So let's go edit, define pattern. And then you can just select, give it a name and select OK. And then uh, we will turn off the diamond, uh, turn on our cross here. And then we will go edit to find pattern, giving it a name and clicking OK. And then the next step, we are going to create a new document. So let's go File, New. Uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper. So I'm going to go 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is going to be RGB color and then I'm going to change my background contents to white and then click create. From here we are going to add a um, our pattern layer. So we'll go in the layers panel here going to the adjustment layers. We're going to select pattern. Uh, using the drop down, scrolling down, you'll select your uh, diamond shaped here. And then uh, when this dialog box is open, you have the option to change the angle. You can scale it up or down. Um, you can even move it around on your canvas if you want it to position a little bit differently. And then you can click Snap to Origin to get it back to the original and then click OK there. And then we are going to um, add a color to this one. So let's, um, going back to our adjustment layers, this time we're going to choose a solid color. 
going to use uh, one of my uh, previous swatches here clicking OK and then um, next you're going to create a clipping mask so to do that you can right click and select create clipping mask or you can use the keyboard shortcut hovering between the two layers you're going to select um, option click for Mac users I think that's alt for a PC and then it will create a clipping mask there and then from there we're going to add our next pattern so we'll click to add another pattern layer this time we will select the cross and then uh, again you can change these if you prefer and then click on OK and then let's go ahead and give this one a um, another a solid color layer choosing a swatch here going to uh, create that clipping mask option click for Mac users and then you have your um, basic argyle pattern here so let's go ahead and um, and then you can also add a, a solid color adjustment layer if you want to change uh, the background layer we'll just um, select it as um, kind of a little bit of an off-white here and click OK there and then I'm going to group these layers together so um, having the first layer clicked just shift click and then you can group a layer right click group from layers or you can use the keyboard shortcut uh, for Mac users that is command G and then um, we are going to uh, jump back into our pattern document here uh, next we are going to uh, create the pattern again this time we are going to uh, narrow our diamond uh, before I do that I'm going to save my document so just file save as uh, go ahead and give it a name uh, select your folder and then we are going to keep it in Photoshop format and click Save so I have uh, this one saved and then I'm going to uh, save it again so we'll go file save as give it a name, uh, choose your um, folder, and then keeping the Photoshop uh, format there, we'll click save. That way, um, if you want to go back to this original one, you have it now saved, and now we can make the changes to this one. So um, on this group here, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one. And then we are now going to edit this one. So we're gonna go edit, a free transform path, and then just selecting the side here, I'm just gonna drag it in, I'm going to bring it into um, 300 pixels here and then I'm going to select OK there and then um, Photoshop will just prompt you that it's going to be turned into a regular path instead of a live shape you can click yes and then um, on this layer clicking on the icon here command click um, that basically selects the pixels of our shape I am then going to go to image and crop and it will just crop our document to our diamond. Um, Command D to deselect it there. I'm gonna create a new layer. And then uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, turn that one off for now. And then moving to our um, line tool under the shapes here. Um, starting in the corner, going to click and then I'm going to uh, drag until I get to the corner and then you'll see uh, the smart guides showing you that you're in the corner there and then again our fill is none Stro the stroke to black and then change the uh, stroke width to 10 pixels okay I want to make sure that this line is centered so I'm just going to um, go click on M for marquee command A to select everything uh, v to get to my move tool and just make sure we are aligned to the center here and then command D to deselect we are going to uh, duplicate this layer clicking OK there going to edit uh, transform path and again we are going to flip vertical and then uh, I'm just making sure that this is again centered uh, marquee tool command A V and then clicking on my uh, cent uh, align vertical, align horizontal, and then I'm just going to deselect there. So now we have our two uh, new patterns to create. So uh, let's go ahead and group these two layers, uh, Command G for Mac users, and then um, we'll go edit. Let's do the rectangle first here. We'll go edit, define pattern, and then you can give it a name. 
clicking OK. And then I will turn that layer off, bring this one up. Let's go edit, define pattern. And then clicking OK. Jumping back into our document, we have our group. Let's go ahead and duplicate this group. Clicking on OK. And then you can give it a name um, for our new pattern here. Um, hitting the drop down to open the contents here, we will select our new patterns. Clicking OK. And then we'll change this one. Clicking OK. So now we have our new pattern. Let's go ahead and change the colors. Uh, let's try maybe a mint. And then maybe making this one a little bit darker. Okay. And so now we have our two patterns. So we have our, our diamond one, and then we have our one that was a little bit more um, even versus long in our diamond shape. So uh, the next step is to uh, save this as digital scrapbook paper. So we'll go to File, Save As. Go ahead and give it a name, choose your folder, and then under Format, this time you are going to uh, save it as a JPEG. And then you'll just want to make sure that this embed color profile is still selected. Click Save. And then uh, when saving a digital scrapbook, you want to make sure it's high quality so you can drag it all the way over to the maximum here and then click OK. Thank you for watching this video on how to create an Argyle pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I will leave a link to my shop where I sell Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.